If you're experiencing the winter blues, don't worry because you're not alone. Research indicates that the seasons can bring on changes in mood and we're gradually unraveling the physical causes. Until science has all the answers, we can rely on the tried and trusted remedy of comfort food. And Utica is here with some tasty mood enhancers. I'm warming up winter in the kitchen today. The mercury has dropped and left me craving the comfort of a spicy meal. On the menu, a delicious lamb and lentil curry, madras-style brinjal and for dessert, a self-sourcing cinnamon-spiced chocolate pudding. I'm starting out with the lamb and lentil curry. Let's get cooking. Let's get the lamb knuckle into the bowl. Just pop those in. And to this yogurt, scoop that in. This is double thick. Greek yogurt. To this ginger and garlic, red chili powder. I like it quite spicy, so generous scoops of this going in. Some cumin, a teaspoon, coriander, two teaspoons, a teaspoon of garam masala, and a touch of turmeric. I'm using a touch of yogurt in this. If you prefer, you can add more. Even add a touch of cream to the marinade. Start by heating up the pan. In goes some sunflower oil. And the first spice is going in, the whole spices. The bay leaf and cinnamon stick. Not too much, just a little one will do. Next ingredient, a sliced onion. To this, a teaspoon and a half of salt, curry leaves, and two green chilies. Fry the onion until the moisture evaporates and then they start to turn beautiful and golden in colour. The onions are starting to turn brown around the edges. The mix in the pan is golden, it's beautiful, ready for the lamb. Spoon that into the hot oil. Scrape the marinade into the oil as well. Mix this through. I can get the aroma of the ginger and garlic coming through as well. The spices do stick to the bottom of the pan. And if that does concern you, here's a little tip. Just switch off the heat and leave that to stand for a minute or two. The moisture from the meat will release the spices that are stuck and you're good to go again. Let's check if the spices are loose. Yes, they are. It's as easy as that. Back on the heat, ready for the water and pour that in. You should just about submerge the lamb knuckle Simmer this over a low heat, and remember, the lower the heat, the more tender the meat. This is going to give me some time to get on with the Madras-style brinjal curry. For the brinjal dish, I've picked up some baby brinjals. They're firm, they're beautiful in color, no spots of blemishes, and they're gonna make the perfect dish. So to start out with, we've got some sunflower oil going into the pan, and now the mustard seeds. The mustard seeds should hit the oil and start to splatter almost immediately. In goes the onion. To this, some curry leaves. Mix that about and add some salt. Let's talk about the brinjals. So when you buy the brinjals, make sure they feel light to the touch. Light meaning once the seeds have developed in the brinjals, they feel quite heavy, which means they are older and tend to be quite bitter. To prepare these brinjals, slice off a little at the top and bottom, slice them in half, and then salt them in a colander. Let all the moisture drain off, and then you can grill them or deep fry them. I've actually fried mine here, and you can see they're golden, they're beautiful, and quite soft to the touch as well. The onions are ready, ginger and garlic going on top. Give it a gentle stir. And next, add the coconut. This is desiccated coconut, always going in on the side of the pan. I've got a friend coming over today who likes a milder brinjal curry, so I'm using just a spoon of red chili powder. Mix that through and add the tomatoes. Work that in and simmer it down until the moisture evaporates, the tomatoes turn darker in color and you should see the oil separate as well. The paste has started to form. Add some water. Give that a gentle stir. Let the simmer down until the sauce comes together. When you're certain the tomatoes cook down, add the tamarind. If the tamarind goes in too early, the tomatoes won't soften. And to this, pour in the coconut milk. Gently stir that in, leaves you with a lovely silky sauce. 
The sauce is ready for the brinjals and place them into the coconut sauce. What's lovely about brinjals is that they absorb so much flavour. Press them down slightly, just coaxing them into the sauce. The sauce has thickened, the brinjals are already cooked. I'm going to switch off the heat. And now for the lamb, let's take a look. That's simmered down, the sauce has thickened slightly. And a good way to check the lamb, use the back of a teaspoon and press down. It should go through quite easily. I'm going to add the park of lentils. I'm using brown lentils for this. Tip that in. I love the way they soak up the sauce. Work that through. And to this, pour in the tomato. That's come together nicely. And for the last ingredient, a generous plug of fresh cream going in. You don't have to add the fresh cream, but I'm looking for a touch of decadence since it is cooler. Looking for some comfort as well. And this dish is like a hug on a plate. Our curries are now ready. The lamb is done, here's the brinjal. A quick tidy up and let's get on with dessert. It's important you get your timing right on this one. It needs to be made just before serving, so it's gooey and chocolatey as well. This is a two-part recipe, the first part being a chocolatey concoction made with some full cream milk, brown sugar and cocoa powder. Let's start with that. Full cream milk going into the pot. To this, add some brown sugar and next, cocoa powder. Use a little spoon, work the ingredients together. You don't want to boil the milk, you just want to heat it up so everything melts. Stir this through, and if there are any lumps in the cocoa powder, just squish them against the side of the pan. And if there are tiny ones, don't worry too much. That looks perfect. Switch off the heat and leave that to cool. Soft butter going into the mixing bowl. Let's start out by creaming the butter. The butter is light and creamy. Add brown sugar to this. I think brown sugar adds a lovely caramel flavour to this dessert. And cream again. Butter and sugar have come together nicely. They're super creamy and the sugar starts to dissolve. Next, add two eggs. To this, two teaspoons of flour. I'm using self-raising flour for this. And beat again. It doesn't matter if you've got a bit of flour around the sides of the bowl. We're gonna mix this through now. Gently scrape around the sides of the bowl. There we have it. The next ingredients going in, some cinnamon, vanilla essence, some salt. Salt's an important ingredient. When you're making a chocolate pudding, it cuts through the sweetness and brings up the flavor of the chocolate. You have to be quite light and gentle with this. And now, the cocoa powder and flour. A little cloud of flour going up. Make sure you're getting it right to the bottom of the bowl. It's a really thick batter. That's ready. I've got an oven-proof dish here. About 1.5 liters would work nicely. I've lightly buttered this. I need a tablespoon. Blobs of this chocolate batter going into the dish. I could almost eat this like a mousse, but good things come to those who wait. Use the spoon again and just coax that batter into the bottom of the dish. The sauce has cooled down for the magic part. Pour that over the batter. And I love the way the chocolate sauce just floods that batter and it disappears. Bake this off in a preheated oven, 170 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. While that's in the oven, I've got some time to plate up my meal. Some coriander going on top, on the lamb as well. I'm sure the pudding's ready, let's take a look. I love these chocolatey, saucy bits around the edges. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna top this with some toasted almonds. You can serve this with vanilla ice cream or fresh cream. 
but I like the chocolate on its own. The kitchen's the warmest place to be during the winter months, and this menu is not only going to warm up your kitchen, it's also going to chase away the winter chill. We've got a delicious lamb and lentil curry, going with the Madras-style brinjal. I'm serving that with rice and with rotis, and for dessert, a delicious cinnamon spice self-sourcing chocolate pudding. Tucking into Utica's winter menu will definitely bring a smile to your face and the whole process of preparing the meal is a happy experience in itself because kitchens can be so cosy. When the mercury drops, it's time to warm up from the inside out with Utica's delicious lamb curry, Madras style brinjal and cinnamon spiced chocolate pudding. And you'll find all the recipes on the Mela Facebook page.